Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because it can almost be a bit of a thankless task being England's second choice striker because, as I just alluded to, you absolutely know that Harry Kane is going to start every single England game. He is first choice. And it'd also be a brave call if there is ever a time when in a match England are chasing a goal, as they were in that World Cup quarter final. And Gareth Southgate seems incredibly unlikely to take Harry Kane off. But Ivan Tony is certainly the man, as Gareth Southgate said when he announced his squad last week, who deserves to be here as Harry Kane's understudy. It was Callum Wilson who went to the World Cup. He struggled for goals somewhat since coming back from Qatar. And Southgate was asked about the issues surrounding Tony off the field at the moment, which are clear. But he said, why wouldn't I pick him? Why wouldn't I include the Brentford striker in my squad? Because on form and everything that Ivan Tony is doing on the pitch, he certainly deserves to be here. 17 goals in 27 games in all competitions for Brentford this season. Scores all types of goals. He's a fantastic penalty taker, as we know. There's maybe just a feeling that that one call-up before Gareth Southgate named his squad for the World Cup. He didn't use him on the pitch, but even looking in training, there wasn't enough time for Ivan Tony to convince Gareth Southgate that... He was the man to take to Qatar, so Callum Wilson went, but as I said, his form, not great. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has had a, a terribly injury-ravaged season as well, so the other contender really would have been Aston Villa's Ollie Watkins, who's been on a real hot streak since Unai Emery took over. But it is Tony's form who has him here. It'd be interesting to see whether he does get on the pitch in either the game against Italy or against uh, Ukraine a few days later. But. He is here and there is no doubt in Gareth Southgate's mind or I think probably any football fan's mind that he deserves to be here as well.